Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Hike Hero. After being rejected, I shaved and took in the high school runaway. This was a popular anime series that I did not watch for a long time. I was always concerned by the title, but thankfully this anime isn't as weird as I thought it would be. I finally watched this anime series recently. In this anime, the protagonist Yoshida works as a salary man. One night he goes home after getting drunk and meets a girl named Sayu. She asks if she could stay at night at his apartment, and he agrees. They don't do anything odd. He just lets her stay at his apartment. He learns about Sayu's sad past and why she had to run away from home. He agrees to let her stay at his apartment, but that could cause some issues in the future. As weird as the premise may sound, there is nothing romantic going on between Sayu and Yoshida. She does try to seduce him a couple times, but he resisted the temptation. Once you can look past the weird parts of the premise, this was actually an enjoyable and wholesome anime series about a guy that takes care and protects a girl that no one else in the world cares about. The anime series went to dark and heavy topics about life. Sometimes the topics got very dark. I couldn't believe they actually showed some of the things that were shown on screen. I liked that this anime series didn't shy away from controversial topics. It approached the topic of family issues, bullying, and other dark topics in a reasonable manner. It doesn't just treat it like it's a lighthearted issue, and the issue doesn't just get solved right away. The characters really have to talk things out and confront the issues that they run away from. The solution feels realistic and isn't just some fairy tale ending. If this was just a fairy tale ending, Sayu would have gotten her family's permission to stay with Yoshida, and everything would have ended in a happy way. Instead, it's a bittersweet ending. There is a resolution to the issue, but it's not the 100% happy ending. Yoshida is one of the best protagonists I've seen recently, and really helped elevate this anime series from being a decent anime series to being a good anime series. The great thing about him is that he isn't just a spineless guy that lets Sayu do whatever she wants to do. He gives her life lessons and gave her great tips on how to change her life around. He slowly got her change and he did in a slow and logical manner. He didn't just go on a big speech about what she had to do in life. He only helped guide her towards the right decision. Their interactions were great to watch. It felt like he was her mentor, and like how he showed her that sometimes people do show kindness without expecting anything back. The only issue of their interactions is that I felt Sayo learned a lot from Yoshida, but sometimes she just randomly went back to her old ways. It's like all that character development was suddenly gone. That was just odd. The main focus of Zami series is Yoshida helping Sayu find the right path in life. But the subplot for Zami series was Yoshida's love life. He had multiple women that were into him. Goto being one of those women. This part was frustrating because these women clearly like him, yet nothing progresses at all. Even when Yoshida knows how they feel about him. There was a time skip later on, and still nothing happens. As much as I praised Yoshida, it still felt odd that he was acting like a typical harm protagonist in that regard. He knows multiple women are into him, yet he doesn't feel like pursuing any of them. I know he got rejected early on, but that rejection was cleared up, so he should be good to go in terms of a date, yet still nothing happens. That is mainly the reason why I didn't like the ending. The anime started off with Yoshida being rejected and not having a girlfriend, and it ends with an ending that is not satisfying to see. It's like the answer is so obvious. Goto and Yoshida have great chemistry together. They will make for a great couple. Yet this anime series just won't show us that. In terms of the characters, they were great for the most part. Yoshida, like I said earlier in the video, is a great protagonist. He is confident, calm, and great with talking to people. It's no wonder why multiple women have an interest in him. He is great at motivating other people, and always comes up with a great logical solution to everything. Sayu was okay as a character. She had great character development throughout the show. She had no direction in life early on, but later develops into a confident person that seems to find her path in life. Goto is a very attractive woman. I like how she doesn't get jealous at all, and has a playful side about her in terms of teasing Yoshida at times. She is a reasonable person, 
and doesn't freak out over things just because it isn't seen as 100% moral. Yusaha was a nice energetic woman that is funny and awkward to watch. It was hilarious seeing her act embarrassed at times when talking to Yoshida. Asami was a great friend towards Sayu. She was really supportive and kind towards her. You can't help but like her. She also had this funny relaxed side to her and made her interactions with Yoshida funny to watch. The opening and ending song for this anime series were okay. The music for this anime series certainly fit the dark moments and made those moments feel more impactful. The animation style and animation look good for this anime series. Despite how weird the premise and title may seem, this anime is actually a serious and deep anime series that handles dark topics in a good and proper manner. I give this anime series a 8 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you find anything interesting video.